Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, Edna decided to drink the stinky drink. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you how terrible a decision that turned out to be. But fortunately, she managed to survive, and even better, we got inventory items for our trouble. We got a fly, which I'm sure is going to be useful at some point, and we got a cocktail glass, which the game is trying to tell us is completely useless, like it tries to do so with the paper cup. But I'm on to your tricks, game! You want me to get rid of these so that I don't get the super secret awesome ending? That's right, folks! If you keep the paper cup and the cocktail glass in your inventory for the entire game, when you get to the final climactic scene, what happens is everybody gets pulled into a parallel dimension with an infinite number of dancing Harveys from different realities, and then the ultimate disco begins! Alternatively, I could be making that all up, and these items are completely useless. But there's only one way to find out, and I intend to see if my theory is correct. Before we do what we're meant to do here, which is giving the uh, cup of coffee to B-Man, I'm going to try using the various items that I've gained on my powers here, namely Harvey 1 and Harvey 2. I know I've used some of my uh, items on Harvey 1, but I don't remember which, and I don't think I've used any of them on Harvey 2. So let's start by using Harvey on Harvey 1. Thank you for teaching me how to gnaw off my toenails, Harvey. That ability had been sleeping within you for a long time, Edna. I merely pushed the bed into the hallway and triggered the sprinkler system. Is that how you activate awesome powers? Superhero origin stories are peculiar. The ability to loosen screws with a chewed off toenail is really great. It will never be able to replace a blunt instrument, though. What if you have a really, really big toenail? That could potentially work. But I suppose that would never truly replace the mallet in your heart, would it? That ability has already been marked Harvey 1. I wonder who beat me to it. The world may never know. Captain Useless has a toenail ability, too! He can do nice embroidery with it! That is quite a toenail ability! Um, Harvey? Could you clean my toenail with these pot holders, please? Not in a million years! I believe we've had that one before. It's when you use the uh, pot holder with the toenail. What about mustard with Harvey One? I've got mustard, and I have the ability to gnaw my toenails! The emergency food supply is secure. But how long would it last, Harvey? Is this bottle truly infinite, or does it have an end? And if it has an end, do I want to find it? I've got ketchup, and I have the ability to gnaw my toenails. The emergency food supply is secure. Random question. These candles look like they can be lit. Where's the ladder to reach them? They're quite a ways up. Let's use... Actually, I can't use the cornflakes with uh, Harvey One, because using the cornflakes just eats them. So instead, we shall use Paper Cup with Harvey One. The filthy cup is a good place to keep it. We still have the cup. Good to know. What do you think of it, Harvey? Can I hit the pot with my toenail? I bet my behind against it. I can't help but be amazed by the special effects in this game! The special effects of this game are truly second to none. What about Key? I love opening doors. You should be a burglar. I was thinking bellhop in a hotel, but burglar doesn't sound bad either. Bellhops often do get very spiffy hats, though. Up till now, I've been able to gnaw my nails off without a fork, and I don't feel like changing my technique. But what if using a fork is more efficient? I don't need a knife for that. No, you don't. You have your teeth. It doesn't say so explicitly, but I bet toenails are one of the ingredients for the stinky drink. They probably are. What about the pinking shears? I'll need nail scissors for that. We don't have nail scissors. These are specifically pinking shears. I wonder if they have tips for toenail care in the therapy session. Come on, Edna! It's group therapy! Of course, they'll be talking about proper foot care! Will they? I've never been to uh, any therapy sessions, so I can't say if that's the case. 
What about Dr. Marcel's signature with Harvey Wan? No, this is my toenail. That is. It's actually your ability to get infinite toenails. What if we counterfeit signature with Harvey Wan? If there was a strange signature on there, I'd start to worry. Me too. Straw with Harvey Wan? I've got the weapon, and I have ammunition. The long distance toenail spitting contest can begin. That it can. But who are you going to be competing against? No, this is my toenail. What about using the coffee with Harvey Wan? What do you think, Harvey? Can I hit the cup with my toenail? I bet my behind against it. I can't help but be amazed by the special effects in this game. That was even more amazing than the first time that happened. Wow, the game just keeps stunning me into silence. This number isn't registered. Oh, we could have had a conversation with toenails. And I never thought I'd say that in any game I let's play, but this game is a game of firsts. No party without them. Snacks. Snacks are tasty. Shovel with Harvey Wan? This ability was buried deep in my memory. Alas, not deep enough. For now we know it, and we shall never forget it. What would I do without this great toenail ability? We may never know. Well, actually, we do know you'd still be stuck in the first room of the game. Hmm. Dead fly and toenails. Makes you appreciate life's little pleasures. I guess? What do you think, Harvey? Can I hit the glass with my toenail? I bet my behind against it. I'm constantly amazed by the special effects in this game. Okay, I like the touch of having Edna say that instead of Harvey. Well done. I believe we've pretty much done everything with Harvey 2, because most of the Harvey 2 stuff will be linked with the signatures that we have. So let's do the one thing that we're meant to here, and that is use the coffee on the crayons. Coffee doesn't have the least thing to do with wax. Flavored stir sticks? No? All right, all right, we'll use the coffee where we're meant to, giving it to B-Man. So long, coffee. You weren't in our inventory very long. Here, I've brought you a cup of coffee. How considerate of you. And now we have the cup back. Oh, it's a cup of earwax. I had a feeling we'd get a cup of earwax, but I wanted to hope that we wouldn't. That is a lot of earwax. You weren't kidding when you said that coffee made you make a lot of earwax. Hello, B-Man. Hello, stranger woman. Do we have any other interactions that we can have with you now that we've done that? I think we shall, uh, use this one. Go ahead and keep calling me stranger. As you wish, stranger woman. We have no new dialogue. I'll be going then. Go ahead. I think it's time to give you that earwax back. We don't want it. Um, I think that's yours. You can keep it. Regard it as payment for the coffee. Coffee wasn't really that good, was it? It was a kick against the shins. I don't know if that means it was good or not, but yay, we have earwax? Earwax. Wax-like and amber-colored. Keyword, amber, there. It's amber colored. Maybe we can use that to fool the professor. I wonder why you're so fascinating. I'm glistening like amber. Whoa. Oh, Harvey. Amber doesn't make woo sounds. Oh, yeah? And what sounds does amber make, if you don't mind telling me? Amber doesn't make any sounds. It just lies around on the beach for decades. I see. Like Brian Wilson! I'm with Harvey on this one. I passed some amber and it went woo. Okay, I'm actually joking. It didn't go woo. But it could have gone woo. All right, Harvey, what do you think about earwax? Hmm, golden brown patina. Like amber. The game is really heavily telling us that it's like amber. This whole earwax business is beginning to get to my stomach. I'm already losing my appetite for toenails. 
Oh no! We better go through these interactions quickly then. We can't have you not eating toenails. I wouldn't do that. Nobody would do such a thing. Oh wait! In that case, we'll have to do it! It didn't show any effect, but I feel better now. That's good. What about using the pen with the earwax? Ooh, there's already Beware of Frank. Hmm. We've already had that one. What about the comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless looking for his Q-tips. Fingers crossed, he finds them. Pot holder? I didn't need pot holders to get the earwax into my bag. Why would I need pot holders to get it out again? In the wrong hands, logic can be a terrible weapon. Indeed it can. Mustard? A tiny little dash can't hurt, I'd say. <laughs> Delicious mix. Delicious isn't the word I'd use, Edna. A tiny little dash can't hurt, I'd say. <laughs> Delicious mix. Just checking to see if there was any difference. I don't think there was there. It's incredible that there's no law against this. And yet, it continues to be perfectly legal to do. Earwax with cornflakes is not a combination I'm looking forward to making, but it's there. Let's use it. Cornflakes with honey, anyone? Is it real bee honey? <laughs> no, but you're right. The amber cocktail really is lacking an insect aspect. Okay, game, you've stopped being even vaguely subtle. What about earwax with the cup? No, the wax stays in the cup. Fair enough. What about with the pot? No, the wax stays in the cup. But what about with the key? Okay, I'll make a key imprint in the earwax. Hey, I'm pretty good at this. I should remember that. But I'd need a better medium for a good imprint. Oh, now there's a clue. We have to make an imprint of a key at some point? Possibly the master key. Okay, we need to remember that we need to make an imprint, so we need to find something we can make an imprint with. We don't have anything yet, but I'm sure we'll find something. Texture like yogurt, color like honey, yet my sixth sense prevents me from tasting it. Chicken, chicken! You have a sixth sense? What is it? No, it's nothing you spread on bread. I agree with you there. I'm rather glad that it's not on the menu. Me too. What about with the shears? Um, no. I'd hate to carry the earwax loose in my pockets. Yeah, to get on all the other inventory items that would just make a mess. We don't need therapy. We have earwax. I don't think I heard you right. I get what you did there. Clever. Someone's already immortalized himself on it. And we've had that before. What about with the shovel? I imagine using it with Harvey too is going to be the same as it was before. I can't reach into the cup with this spoon, I'm afraid. Alas, we're going to need a smaller spoon. Not that there is one. Texture like yogurt, color like honey, yet my sixth sense prevents me from tasting it. Chicken! Chicken! I think that was a different utterance of chicken chicken there. It's the little details. There's something glittering in the earpiece. Whoa, that's a load. If I scrape off a bit, I could easily increase my supply. Do we want to increase my supply? I prefer salsa. I like the rumba. Harvey, I didn't know that. Because you never let me lead. You learn something new every day. No, the wax stays in the cup. And we definitely don't want it in that cup. I'm not going to do that one just yet. I don't see why not. <laughs> that was worth it just for the glob sound. Now, before I use the uh, fly on the uh, earwax, I'm going to offer the fly to Bee Man. Look at this, a colleague of yours. Oh, how very typical. Flies and bees are about as related as humans and opossi. Opossa. Opossum. Opossi. Opposo. Opossum. Opposo. Opossa. Opossorums. Opossi. Opossorum. Opossi. Opossa. Obladi. Oblada. Ah, oh, 
mission a possible. That went on a lot longer than I thought it would. Let's go back here and use the fly on the ashtray, because we're not going to get many opportunities to do so. It's going to be gone very soon, I wager. Fly, ashtray. I know! We still have that fly from the stinky drink. All we have to do is... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. But, 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 what about using the cocktail glass on it? I know! The cocktail menu! The cocktail menu plus ashtray leads to... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. I don't think that was the cocktail menu game. That was the glass. What about the earwax? I know! The magic word is earwax! Listen, it's quite simple. Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. We'll find its function someday. It's part of the super secret ending I mentioned. And I'm curious if we can put the fly in the barrel. No, there are enough dead insects in there already. And just think, that's where the barkeep has been getting most of his drinks from. Can we get more drink? I'd better not drink this. I have this terrible heartburn and... Coward! Edna? <sighs> Phew, I was starting to worry. I'm still worried. That was terrible. I think there's already enough earwax in there. We have plenty of ways at least that we can get lots of earwax. What about fly with shelf? I can feed the spiders later on. We're probably not going to be feeding the spiders with this. I don't need to drop that. But isn't that illogical? True. But it's okay in my case because I'm crazy. I'm surprised the game did not give us an opportunity to get rid of the glass that way. I don't need to drop that. But true. And we can't get rid of the earwax either. That makes sense at least because we're going to be using that. We're going to be using it pretty much right now. And what we make is going to be used to fool the professor. Whoa, made from real beeswax. Can we use the earwax with the crayons? Wax lax, wax lax on the wall. Who's the waxiest of them all? Waxy though the ear goo be, crayons seem most waxed to me. They are pretty waxy. What about fly with paper? Lo and behold, Harvey. Ta-da! What is it? What have you got? Can't you see? It's an origami fly. Shouldn't you have used just the sheet of paper for that? Oh, you think so? I didn't know you could do origami. That's a pretty neat trick. I'll just smear a little on the edges. That's better. Is it? I'll need lots more in order to get the glass clean. A black hole would do the trick, too. I think the black hole would do a lot more than just clean the glass. And when we come back, folks, we have a fly and we have earwax. You'd think I'd combine them right now, but there are so many more things we can do with the fly. The fly is truly an item unlike any other. And yet it is also an item just like any other, for we can use it anywhere we like. We could even use it on this plant. I don't know what'll happen if we do. Let's give it a go. I may not know much about plants, but I know this isn't a Venus flytrap. I think many things gave that away. We could also try using the glass on this. Hmm, not even a drop. Good thing for the plant, too. Very good thing for the plant. There, a little bit of fertilizer. Don't use all of it. We're going to need it. We're going to need it to solve a puzzle. The puzzle that will hopefully get us out of here. But we're going to trade this for a laundry ticket. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.